Hello and welcome to Chemistry Nuggets, where you can polish your knowledge and clear your doubts. So, friends, today's video is about the Lewis dot structure of H3O plus. How we will make it? What the tips used to make it will be given in this video. So, keep watching the video till end. So, let's start the video. H3O plus, it is having three hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom and a plus star. So, first of all, we need to know that whenever we are going to write list of structure, we need only the valence electrons. Valence electrons means the electrons which is in the outermost shell of the that particular atom. For hydrogen, the atomic number is 1. So, 1 S 1. So, its valence electrons are 1 only, 1 valence electron. For oxygen, the atomic number is 8. So, 1 S2, 2 S2 and 2 P4. So, its number of valence electrons are only 6. 6 valence electrons it has. Now, from this calculation, we will get the total number of valence electrons. Total valence electrons in this ion is 3 into 1 for hydrogen plus 6 and the most important second tip is if there is positive charge on that ion we will always minus the positive charge if it is 1 we will minus 1 if it is plus 2 we will minus 2 like that and if the ion is having minus charge negative charge we will add that to the total electrons. So, here we will minus 1 electron. So, it will come 3 plus 6 minus 1. It will be 8 valence electrons. So, total we have 8 valence electrons that we are going to show in that Lewis structure. Not even a single extra electron we will show. Now, after that, second, third point that which one is central atom? Always remember one thing, hydrogen and fluorine never ever be the central atom. So, in this case, if hydrogen is not a central atom, oxygen will be central atom. And hydrogen will be surrounding atom. One more criteria for this is, in any molecule, the atom which is least in number, that will be the central atom or which is least electronegative that will become the central atom. In all the three criteria, oxygen is fulfilling all these things. So, we will put oxygen in the center and hydrogen as a surrounding atom. Now, first thing we will do, make three bonds like that. Now, Three bonds we made and we will count bond pair electrons. It will be 2 into number of bond. So, here in this case, 2 into 3 that is 6. So, bond pair electrons are 6 in number. Now, after that we will count lone pair of electrons. It will be total electrons total valence electrons minus bond pair electrons. So, total valence electrons in our case is 8 minus bond pair is 6. So, how many is left over? 2. This is lone pair of electrons. This will be used in two types. Either as a lone pair directly or secondly, we can use these lone pairs to form a double bond or triple bond if needed. And one more tip is when we are going to put the leftover lone pair of electrons, we will firstly satisfy the surrounding atoms of it. After that, we will reach to the central atom and then complete the octet of the central atom. So, start with the hydrogen number 1. This hydrogen is having two electrons. One is here and one is here, two electrons. So, for octet, because its outermost shell is 1s and it is 
having only two electrons maximum so in case of hydrogen we will not say octet it is duplet and for this hydrogen duplet is completed for this hydrogen duplet is completed for this hydrogen duplet is completed now for all three hydrogens duplet is completed now come up to the oxygen oxygen is now having 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 electrons in the form of bond pair so we will put this bond pair of electron here in so that oxygen will complete its octet now oxygen is having total of 8 electrons as we can count and this is the complete structure but one more thing we are missing we are having a positive charge over here the next step which is very important and remember always the positive charge will acquired by the central atom always and the negative charge will always be acquired by the surrounding atom this is a tip and very important tip you need to remember so when the has put the plus charge on the central atom oxygen and, and our lewis dot structure of h3o plus is completed very easy to form little bit of calculation so this is h3o plus hope you guys understand how to draw the lewis dot structure and maybe you like the tips and tricks given in this video so do those tips and tricks to make for the new structures and write a comment if it is working or not till then bye bye thank you